Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk Bounty video and welcome to episode 39 of Ask Bosk Bounty. This is the weekly series where you get to ask me questions in the comment section below and I do my very best to answer them each week. So be sure to leave your questions for next week's episode to keep this series going. Big milestone next week with episode 40 so thank you very much for keeping it going guys and of course if you do enjoy this video don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel loads of questions this week so let's get straight onto it with the first question dennis smith says question for next week which vintage figure is the most common so i'm not sure if you mean vintage collection or vintage kenner from back in the day but i'll answer both so vintage kenner Essentially, all of the figures were mass produced in the end. There was millions and millions and millions of each. Essentially, if you wanted a beta figure of anyone, you know, one that's not in that great condition, it'd be pretty easy to pick up, apart from possibly the last 17 as that run was ending. But also, I think if you look at eBay and most selling Facebook sites and groups and things like that, the, the figures that are often come up that people have thousands of are your, your Return of the Jedi characters, namely the Jabba's goons and skiff guards, people like Wee Quay, Reyes, um, Klaatu, they seem to be the ones that come up a lot. And also people like Klaatu, you can get very, very cheaply on a card still, so which is awesome. Um, also low grade, the Ewok, the Medicine Man, he seems to be a very common figure indeed. He seems to be everywhere. If you're talking about the vintage collection, then I think the most easiest ones to get are these two here. Snoke, for obvious reasons, which we're gonna come on to later because I've got a question about him. But also, this one here, the Naboo Royal Guard, this figure, you can still pick him up for maybe even 15 pounds, $15. They're everywhere, these ones. So he is probably the most common vintage collection figure and the easier, easiest one to get. Marky D 1967 has a fairly long question here, so I'll just summarize it quickly. He's asking why we haven't had any new figures or re-releases of any characters or figures from the Phantom Menace on the Phantom Menace card backs in the vintage collection since 2018 when it started up again. And I think there's some pretty good reasons for that which I'll attempt to go over. But we are getting one next month. We're getting the Darth Maul, uh, this figure here. He is getting re-released in the Vintage Collection next month. Uh, he's coming with the Wicket and the Anakin Clone Wars and the Obi-Wan Kenobi Clone Wars figures in that reissue wave. So we are getting one, but I do agree we haven't had any others reissued or new from the Phantom Menace. And I think that's purely because since the Vintage Collection started again, they've had a lot of figures to get through from new media and new films and things like that. So it came back with the Force Awakens and the Last Jedi figures. We've also had to have the Rise of Skywalker. We've had Solo, we've had Rogue One. We've had a lot of figures. And I think then they have to also, not pander, but they have to satisfy the people that like the Vintage Collection because they like the original trilogy characters so obviously we've got a few more of those as well we also had the barge come out and because the barge came out they had to give us a load of figures that year for that as well so essentially what it is their schedule is pretty full but i'm sure they're not ignoring the phantom menace or any of the prequels for that matter and i'm pretty sure over the next few years we'll get some new figures trip call says which scale and line of figure do you like the most stroke collect the most so i am predominantly a 3.75 inch collector i always have been since the vintage figure days i love the vintage collection i love the hark back to the original kenner cards i like the fact that it still has the kenner logo on it and things like that to me the vintage collection is my favorite modern line and i do collect 3.75 but i do buy the odd black series figure if i happen to like that character or figure, but I certainly don't buy them all. O-Town Mike 74 says, question for next week, which vintage collection figures came unpunched? I know nothing past the 115 and none of the foils. Also believe wave one didn't come unpunched, possibly wave two. So I think you're right. I think you've pretty much nailed it there. I think ultimately it's the first couple of waves, maybe the third wave, maybe somewhere up to about VC 118, 120 maybe. Maybe somebody in the comments will be able to double check on that for me and back that up, but it's somewhere around there. And you're right, the foil cards were all punched as well. So, and of course we know also that the anything past 116, which is the Ray figure, in the new round of vintage collection figures have all come punched. David Sutherland says, another great video with some great questions. Thank you for your content. Thank you, David. My question for next week, how has your week been? Um, to be honest, David, I have had better weeks. Sometimes real life issues and family issues um, 
come first. And I do apologize for not putting out as much content as I would this week. It's just been a bit of a struggle. All the people that know me personally out there know what's happening, but I do appreciate your support. So thank you very much. Coldit Binning says, do you think that the Endor Troopers with gray hair is Rex? Um, I'm not sure if that's actually confirmed or not. It does look like him, doesn't it? From the one from Rebels with the beard and everything, old man Rex. Um, not sure if it's canon. Somebody in the comments, let me know if it's canon or not, but I'm not 100% sure, but it certainly looks like him. Kyle Marazek says, what is one new character from each of the prequel films that you would like to see made for the vintage collection? Okay, so the Phantom Menace would be Watto. I think he's a fairly big character from the Phantom Menace that we need on a vintage card, and I think he's a pretty cool looking character as well. Attack of the Clones has to be Count Dooku. He is a huge hole in the Vintage Collection and needs to be filled. And Revenge of the Sith, I'd like to see a Chancellor Palpatine in his purple robes, a bit like this. Um, maybe like this figure with the interchangeable head so you could have him just before he turns. So yeah, I think him for Revenge of the Sith. Star Wars Toys Mania UK says, question for next week. Rumour is that the Jabba's Sail Barge will be re-released. I really hope this is the case for collectors who missed out, especially in the UK your thoughts on the rumor. So you are not the only person to ask me about this uh, re-release sail barge. I think it's off the back of a video by Usual Mike. Um, I am not sure where he got that rumor from, so I cannot comment on that part of it. I hope it's true like you do uh, Star Wars Toy Mania because obviously a lot of people would have missed out from around the world, which I feel should be or should have the opportunity to get that sail barge. It is an amazing, amazing piece to have in your collection do i think it'll happen and do i think the rumors are true i i have to say at this moment in time obviously i don't know how reliable the source is but at this moment in time i i, I don't think it's true steve evans on instagram put out a social media post the other day uh saying that basically that he had backed the barge like past tense and that that ship had sailed and that kind of sort of suggests to me that it's not coming back and he also said obviously look forward to the new Haslab vintage collection and that's where the whole rumor falls down for me because I think the Haslab model essentially is basically saying look back this thing because this is the only way you're going to get it if you're going to back it then you get it and if they would just re-release it into shops or fan channels or however they're going to do it if they're going to do it it kind of undermines that whole model, especially one month before they're about to ask everyone to back another one. So if you think about it, everyone's asked to back a new one, but then would they back it if they think, well, in a year's time, I'll be able to get it from a store anyway. So that kind of where it falls down for me, that rumor, but who knows? <sighs> who knows? I do not know. I hope it's true because then obviously people will have a chance to get it. And just a short break from the questions. As you can see here, I do have my Kashyyyk Trooper Army with Command Degree sat in front there i have been trying to build a little mini army because i do have a pretty good army of the other clone battalions but this one i was lacking in so i actually made a video last week about this so be sure to check out uh, me opening and talking about these figures and the vintage stormtrooper is standing there because he is the latest figure that i've managed to get for my first 12 stand which is awesome sean galvin says question for next week a discount store nearby has a lone vintage collection snoke that's been there for two years. Will it ever sell and how cheap does it need to get? So yeah, this Snoke figure, it was obviously in the first wave of the new vintage collection in 2018. It was the one figure that was kind of not a repack of that wave, but I think a combination of it being overproduced for one, I think obviously too many were produced, and also the fact that they killed off Supreme Leader Snoke in The Last Jedi kind of brought the importance of that character down a notch. I mean, essentially, he's a bit of a nothing character now. He's the, the bad guy as a hologram in the first film. Then he's this guy in the second film, but he just gets cut down pretty easily. And essentially, with bad guys and leaders, you need a really, really good leader in any film franchise. But that's the thing, isn't it, about leaders or people that are in charge. Sometimes they are not as good as their followers or their peers or their comrades. At the end of the day, he's just a bit of a nothing person and cut down in The Last Jedi instantly. That whole mythos of Supreme Leader Snoke was cut in half, literally. Milkshake Fortnite says, question for next week. Do you think that the next HasLab project could be an Ewok village? Maybe not full size, but a smaller version. Great vid, thanks. So thank you very much for the question, Milkshake Fortnite. Um, do I think it will be the Ewok village? I don't think it will be. Would I like a new modern 
Ewok Village in the Vintage Collection, absolutely. I've You know, there's plenty of Ewoks to go on it in the modern line, so absolutely why not? Chris Rook says, I've noticed that the fives that we're getting in the three pack available for pre-order in September and the fives that are supposed to be included in the Jedi Luke wave are the same figure. Do you think that we'll see Echo and Jesse on single cars within the next year? Or do you think it will take longer? And how long do you think it will be before we see them in the Black series? So I think we can see the Echo and Jesse figure in the Vintage Collection on their own cards, maybe in the in the in within 12 months of that three pack. I don't think Hasbro are going to sort of hang around with those. I think everybody's going to want those on single cards because ultimately that three pack might be something that's quite hard to get, and a lot of people might miss out, and you'll get a lot of annoyed people. In terms of the Black Series, um, I'm not really up to speed on the Black Series in terms of what's to come, but I think with the Clone Wars being what it is at the moment, it's pretty popular, it's on everyone's thoughts. I don't see why they wouldn't do that. But then again, the Black Series does seem to concentrate on main big characters, and you know it might just be something that, that passes it by. Dorfid or Daffid says, question for next week. As a collector, I've always felt helpless to turn my requests to Hasbro as they seem not to listen and have no process to listen. And for years, he's always wanted Knights of the Re Old Republic figures. So yeah, I, I, I agree it seems that way, but I am sure that they do read certain forums. I know for a fact that they read Re Rebel Scum's forum and I'm pretty sure that they read Bantha Skull's website and the comments section there. They do also monitor Instagram because obviously they did find out about the campaigns that we that we were running. And essentially, I think, you know, that we do need to find a better way of telling Hasbro what we want. And I'm going to be talking to some people such as Chris from Bantha Skull about the ways that we can do that moving forward now that we have confirmation that the Vintage Collection is going to hopefully get more focus in 2021. Rob S722 says, great content as always. Thank you very much, Rob. Uh, his question is, do you plan on picking up the new Falcon? And if so, would love to see an unboxing episode. Keep up the great work. So I have pre-ordered it because I do not own the original Legacy Falcon, the BMF. So I'm pleased that this one's coming out. I do think it's a bit expensive, but I've, you know, bitten the bullet on it because I do not have it and it would have been more expensive for me to get the legacy one over the years and yep of course once it arrives i will be doing a unboxing review for you keith w says hi tim fairly new subscriber but loving the channel great stuff thank you very much for subscribing keith i hope you enjoy future content question for next week how do you feel about hasbro making the vintage collection 3.75 inch lines a subscription service only i've heard a lot of pros and cons on the subject do you think it would be benefit the collector or drive the price up even more by Hasbro. Um, I'm not for it really. I, I think the 3.75 inch vintage collection needs to live in stores, keep it going. I, I think personally there'd be less product and if there's less product, then the prices would rise. They need to make more product for the prices to either come down or stay the same. So yep, I'm not for that at all. Fetmatic says, awesome episode. Thanks very much, my friend. What vehicle would you like to be done in the vintage collection? That is an easy, easy question. And that is the Razor Crest. 100% we need that vehicle in the vintage collection. Will it be the HasLab? I do not know. If it isn't, then we still need it as a standard release vehicle. All right then guys, that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. As per usual, please drop a like down below if you have enjoyed this video. And of course, as usual, We'll see you on the next one.